Another clean getaway. This is an outrage, Walsh. Both men dead. Isn't there any law in this county? Why don't you... Now, I suppose you're going to want to know why I don't get the federal men down here. Don't you think I tried to get them? They can't touch this outfit as long as they stay within the state border and keep their hands off of government property. Someday they're going to make a mistake. Yeah. When they do, we'll get them. That's right. When you realize that some of our counties are larger than some eastern states, you can understand why it's so hard to police them. So, until appropriations are increased, there is nothing this department can do. Yours truly, John Fagan. Why, that baby-kissing politician? He ought to be horsewhipped. No, I think we should... I say we should combine our men and clean out one section at a time. Then we can plant some cows near the highway and ambush the rustlers. Planting cattle for bait is okay, Mr. Thurston. But none of us have the extra large number of hands you seem to need on your spread. He's right. If the rustlers knew that the ranchers were on one section, why, they just hightailed door to the unguarded spread of Toronto. Now, I think that we should... There's only one thing left for us to do. It's to figure on Lightning Bill Carson to handle this job. That's what I've been trying to say right along. Now, I don't... Be if I don't believe he could run these rustlers off just like he did before, all by himself. Oh, that's silly. Now, I don't know much about this Lightning Bill Carson, but how can he police hundreds of miles of wild country by himself? I reckon you're too new an owner in these parts, Mr. Thurston, to know much about Lightning Carson. I think. Magpie, you've been talking too much. Give me a chance. Now, say, you and Carson used to be sidekicks. Why don't you get him to come down here? That's what I've been trying to say right along. He's my pal. He'll do it for me. I'm leaving for El Vista, and I'm bringing back Lightning Bill Carson. And don't you show your longhorn face around here without him, Magpie. If I do, you can call me a rootin' tootin' cheap herder from Coyote. Ah. Now, don't go worrying about me, Jesse. I've carried this much money before. I know, Dad, but with that last gang loose, I can't help worrying. <laughs> I got a gun, ain't I? And I'm not afraid of him. But if it'll make you feel any better, I'll have Jim drive me. But, Dad, that isn't enough. Why don't you telephone the sheriff's office and arrange an escort? They could meet you on your way into town and ride in with you. I've already done that. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't think I ought to. I thought if you knew that that good-looking young deputy, Jerry Walsh, was going to meet me, you'd want to go along. Why, Dad, I hardly know the man. Well... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you ain't interested in Jerry Walsh, and maybe he ain't interested in you. But when I stumble over the same fella every time I go out to draw a bucket of water, well, I'll give him your regards. Jeff burning leather. Bolton's coming. Come on. They never would have got that money if my gun hadn't jammed. 
Jerry, where were you? Late, as usual. Listen, Mr. Bolton, we won't have much trouble catching them outlaws. What makes you so sure? Well, you know the one that lost his horse and got away? Yeah. Well, I took the saddle and had it examined. That's bound to lead us to something. But that's not getting my money back. Uh, well, it might. Yeah, boss. Four thousand bucks. And it was as easy as taking candy from a baby. Johnson, where's your horse? Oh, that fool nag of mine bolted while I was gathering up the dough. I can pick up a better one any dark night. Wait a minute. You know what you've done? You've probably picked out a nice little cell for each of us. What do you mean? Come inside and I'll tell you. Sit down. You knew that was an army horse, stolen from the Remont station at Fort Ramson. I warned you to get rid of him, saddle and all. Well, I was on my way to get rid of him, like you said, when I ran into the boys here. They told me about this Bolton job, so I went along. Well, I'm rid of him now, so what's the difference? So you think you're rid of him, eh? Why, you half-witted monkey, that horse and saddle may hang you. I played this game safe. Laid off post offices, kept the jobs local. Now you've made a federal case of it. Why, every one of us has handled that saddle. You've thrown it right in the lap of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So now, instead of having a dumb sheriff and a smart aleck young deputy to deal with, we're going to have G-men on our trail. And when I say G-men, I mean Lightning Bill Carson. What are you smiling at, Lightning? <laughs> Well, at last, we're going to get a crack at that Lassen County gang we've been trying to land. How come? They stick up a post office? Oh, it was an ordinary road job. But they lost a saddle horse that belonged to the United States Army before he was stolen. Fine. That throws it right in our land. Right. Read those reports. There were three different sets of fingerprints left on the saddle and bridle, all by men wanted by this department. I got an idea. Send Maggie in here. Margaret's the name. Listen, you two, if you want to get along with me, stop calling me Maggie. All right, Ma Margaret. Now, here's the situation. We've got a line on that Lassen County gang we've been trying to land, and we're leaving for the West. Mr. Carson, you seem to forget that my vacation was supposed to start today. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Oh, but listen, Ma Margaret, this is only going to take a few days, and then you can go ahead. And then I can take my vacation, hmm? Sure. Well, all right. When do we start? Can you get back for that three o'clock train? And for once in your life, try to be on time, Maggie. You wanted for to be a government agent, didn't you? Don't kick about your job, Maggie.
Hello, Jesse. Hello, Jerry. Have you learned anything yet? Uh, not yet. How's your dad? Oh, he's all right. But he's sort of mad at law enforcement in this county. Yeah, well, we got a clue this time. That horse they lost belonged to the government. Oh, yeah? Well, what good's that going to do me? Good morning, Mr. Bolton. So you think a government horse is a clue, do you? Yes, sir. Well, you didn't find my money in the saddlebags, did you? Uh, no, sir, but uh, uh, that horse makes it a federal job. We've already sent the saddle to the Federal Bureau for fingerprinting. Fingerprint? Yeah. Well, bandits ain't caught by fingerprints. They're caught by hard writing and straight shooting. And you and that sheriff can't do neither. By the time you get word back from them fingerprints, that gang will be in the other end of the county robbing some other suckers who's been helping to pay your salaries. What's this coming? Gypsy! Just a polite way of saying horse thieves. We ain't only got bandits running wild through the country, but now prowlers are cluttering up the roads. Well, come on, let's see what they want. How do you do? Hey, what are you folks doing here? Have you got a license to sell things? Oh, we got nothing to sell. We trade a horse or tell your fortune, but we sell nothing. Oh, we don't want no horses. And we don't want our fortunes told. Well, I want my fortune told. Now, look here. Move on. Well, you don't want us around here, of course. We go on our way. We... Don't be silly, Jerry. These people aren't doing any harm. Will you tell my fortune? <laughs> well, of course, if you want your fortune told, I'd be glad to tell him. Rosita, you get her the cards. <laughs> a young lady like you should have a very good fortune. Don't be grumpy, Dad. Give her a dollar, a silver one. You know, a fortune's no good if you don't cross her palm with silver. The more money, the better the fortune may be. Ah, now for the good fortune. To begin for the lady's fortune, I must give each of you gentlemen the card, and you will remember the name on the card. For you, the king of our hearts, so that's a very good card. Remember him. For you, sir, Here's the ten of diamonds. That's a very good card. That means a lot of money. <laughs> and for you, mister. Ah, these are not so good. You must be very, very careful. And for the young lady. Aha. The queen of the diamonds, huh? That's a very good card. Your fortune should be very good. <laughs> Now, when I started to tell the fortune for the young lady in order to help her, each person must concentrate his thought on the card what he's holding his hand now. Now, for the story of the fortune, we must all put this card back on the top from the deck. Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On the top of the deck, please. Thank you. Now this card is put on the bottom, and then the deck is shuffled. Now this fortune should be very good. From the card you'll get the first time, young lady. The cards tell me you were in love with a very handsome man. But there are many things in the way for your happiness.
three one all. No, no sign of G men. The deputies hanging around the girl. No, nothing's been discovered. Well, there's an outfit of horse trading gypsies here now. They got some likely looking stock. It might pay you to take them over. All right, we'll look them over. Now remember, if you see anyone looks like a federal man, get word to me quick. If you can't phone, grab a horse. Right. And that is all of the fortune, and it is very nice. It's very nice of you to say that, even if it isn't true. Oh, but it is true. The cards always speak the truth. That's a lot of nonsense. I think maybe it's time to go now. We make the camp for dark. That's all right. Well, goodbye. What was it? Are you getting the one? I'll take it the cards. Goodbye. Goodbye. John! Goodbye. You better keep your eye on that crew, young fella. I don't expect you to catch a bandit, but you can ride herd on that outfit till you get them out of sight of this ranch. You heard what the gypsy said. I'd find obstacles. Ah, that doesn't mean a thing. Don't you worry about that. I'll see you later. Find out, Magpie. Well, the guy was phoning somebody. I couldn't hear what he said. I don't think it's very important, though. We'll find out as soon as that kid deputy quits following us. Fine mess you got us into, Johnson. Now we gotta lay hit out here on account of that horse. Well, don't blame me. You told me to let him go. Anyhow, the chief's crazy. There's no news of any federal men coming in. Nice watch you keep here. If I was the law, you'd all be caught flat-footed. Any news of the G-men yet? Not yet, but I think that there's... I knew that was a lot of hooey. Quiet, you. Oh, Crane called me. Said there was a gypsy outfit headed this way from Bolton's place. Said there were horse traders with some likely-looking animals in tow. Good horses, eh? You want us to pick them up? No, that's just the point. These gypsy outfits don't have good horses. Something phony about this bunch. I want you two to meet him on the road. Tell him you got some horses to trade. Bring him up here. What, bring him up here? To the hideout? Why not? They're not going to leave again once they get here. Well, there's nothing on the old man here. Let me see that ten of diamonds. That's the deputy's card. Oh. Oh, that's a good print. But he would be. But I wish you'd watch the road and see that nobody slips up on us. All right, Lightning. Now, let me see that other one. It was, uh, Jack of Clubs. That's that cow hand's card. Ah. 
Well, we ought to get something there. I've got a funny hunch about that fellow. Mm-hmm. No. No connection at all. I thought sure we had something there in that cow hand, but... Well, just from the looks of them, I still think the guy's in on it. Hey, Chief, there's somebody coming. Here, get this stuff away. Who is it? Who does it look like? Looks like a couple of cowboys. Huh. Good day, gentlemen. There's maybe something I can do for you. Maybe tell your fortune? Ah, uh, no fortunes. Just want to look at your horses. Might make you trade. Oh, for sure. That's the thing for the gypsy. All the time trade with the horse. But you know we are going to be here? Sure, we... No, how do we know you're coming here? <laughs> well, we stopped many places. News of a horse trader travels pretty fast. Maybe somebody told you of it. Nah, nobody told us anything. Are these plugs for sale? Oh, <laughs> sure. We trade them, we sell them, we, we gamble for them. You know the gypsy way. Gamble, eh? That's sure. an idea. But not here on the road. We get a little shack back up on the hills apiece. Well, all right. You show the way. All right, follow us. They walked right into that without a bit of trouble. Better get a fresh deck of cards. We're going to work again, Maggie. Margaret's the name. Say, Jeff, go outside and see if you can see anything of the boys. and mortar coming up the road with the gypsies following them. Good. Get all the horses back into the brush. Stay out of sight till they're inside, then sneak back quietly and cover both doors. Your plugs ain't so good, Gypsy, but we'll play it for them anyway. Them two against the Bronx River riding. <laughs> you think you will win, eh? Maybe I better tell you your fortune before we started to play the cards, huh? Never mind the fortune. Come on inside. Sit down. Mm. Cold hands. First to win three takes the stock, all right? 
It's all right from me. Well, just at the moment. I cut the guitar, then. Eh? Yeah, that make it more better. Well, what have you got? I got the three sevens. I got three tens. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but I got all four from one kind. Well, that beats me. Three queens. You don't have so good luck, huh? Maybe you better let him deal next time. Well, that's the way with the cards, gentlemen. You never can tell. It's like the same in the fortunes. If you tell the fortune, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. You can't tell. Ah, why you... Oh, excuse me. I'm so used to cutting from him, you know. Listen, Jeff. Those gypsies in there are phony. What do you mean? Well, the woman's keeping tab on every hand that's held. Well, what for? For fingerprints, you chump. You mean to tell me that they're the law? I told you we'd have the government down here, didn't I? Come on. Well, very sorry, gentlemen, but <laughs> I got at least two pair. Beats me some luck. That makes two hands I'm winning. One more, and this horse is mine. Ah, just a minute. It's my turn for the dealing. Catch them before they've gone a mile. Wait. I got an idea. Come on inside. Come here. You see that? Oh, what about him? He's as dead as a mackerel. Why can't we pin a murder rap on these gypsies? That's no good. If they're government men, no jury will ever convict them. Maybe it'll never reach a jury. 
Suppose I raise a posse of honest ranchers to run them down. If they get shot down resisting arrest, it's nobody's fault but their own. All right, boys, give me a hand. Hand me that identification kit, will you? Catch the man that drilled you. You two beat it back to hideout. While I raise a posse to run down a murderer. Give me the first one there, Margaret. Your best bet is the Queen's for the tall one and the Jackson Tens for the others. got something here. This thumbprint corresponds with the one found in the cavalry saddle. Right, that's the short one. Yeah, he had three tens and me with three sevens. That's the guy you gunned. Try the queen. Yeah, and he beat me too. Come on, get going. This ties in that whole mob that jumped us back there. Now that makes it just dandy, and you and me without a gun. Well, we'll get them. You know, that good-looking fellow that came out of the back room must be the leader of that outfit. I'm going to ride to Bolton's and get a description of the men that held him up. And you head to town with that evidence. And don't stop till you get there. Uh, fetch me a gun, will you? I'll feel half-naked. Come on, Maggie, let's get going. The name's Margaret. Chief? Federal men after us. Mort's been killed. Why, how did that happen? Quiet. Tap this horse and back up my play inside. Hello, Lee. What are you all keyed up about? Listen, Bolton, there's been another holdup. With murder this time. I found the body of Mort Hodges from over Pecos Way, lying side of the road. Where was this? Same gang, I bet. I don't know. There'd been a fight around some sort of a wagon. The dead man had a bright scarf clutched in his hand. A wagon? A bright scarf. I know, the gypsies. Gypsies? What gypsies? Three of them, two men and a woman. They were here this morning telling fortunes. They had a wagon and several horses. They all had bright scarves. I knew they were up to no good the minute I laid eyes on them. Especially that one with the mustache. There was a bad hombre if I ever saw one. I told you not to have that bunch hanging around this country. All right, Dad, you win. I'll telephone the sheriff's office. Hold on, Jesse. Jerry Walsh has been chasing bandits for six months now without results. We don't want his help. He's right, Miss Jesse. Walsh hasn't caught a single bandit. That's nonsense. This is Jerry's job and... No, it's our job. Now I'll telephone some of the boys and we'll round up that gang of gypsies in no time. Rural, 268. Tell him to meet us at Devil's and I'll show him where it happened. Come on, saddle up. I'll need a fresh horse. Sorry about the boyfriend, Jesse. We'll catch his murder for him. Dad, you can't do this. Jerry's the representative of the law. I know it. And you're the only catch he's made since he was appointed. 
Oh, hello, Joe. Say, listen. Now, listen, Crane. Get this straight. This outfit mustn't get a chance to speak a word after we catch up to him. It's a case where we thought they were going to shoot and we beat him to it. The woman, too? What do you think? Okay. office, please. Sheriff's office. Oh, hello, Jesse. What's that? Yes, murder. Those gypsies. No, no, you come on out here first and I'll tell you what to do. Right. Anybody? He's at home here. Mr. Bolton, I... Put up your hands. If you come a step toward me, I'll blow you right through that door. <laughs> Why, George, I believe you would. But you've got me all wrong, Miss Shut Bolton. Shut up. I... I've got you just right. Sit down there in that chair. Now, if you'll just relax, the sheriff will be here to take care of you. There he is, just so found him. Bolton, you saw the gypsies. See if you ever had a look at that scarf in his hand before. Sure did. Gypsy woman had it tied around her head. I noticed it in particular. Well, that and these wagon tracks ought to be about all the evidence we'll need. You're right. Salan, stay here and guard the body. Carson of the Department of Justice. Oh, yeah? Sure, I'll show you my credentials. Keep your hands up. That's a swell story. And I suppose that girl who was riding around with you was Mary, Queen of Scots. <laughs> Wouldn't she love to hear that? But listen, Miss Bolton, I've got a lot of work to attend to and you're holding me up. You're keeping me here when I ought to be... Here you go. 
going to do? Try to teach you a little horse sense. Maybe that'll convince you. Drop that gun, Gypsy. Don't shoot, Jerry. It's Lightning Carson. Lightning Carson? Yeah, that's certainly right. But what's all this stuff about the gypsies murdering somebody? That's what I'd like to know. Bert Lee came here and said he'd found a dead man on the Bardo Road. Looks like they turned off this way. Come on. I wanted to call the sheriff's office, but Bert Lee said that the ranchers had better handle it themselves. Is this fellow Lee by any chance a dark, good-looking sort of fellow? Yes. Sure. That's him. Why? Well, he's the leader of your bandit gang. He was with that outfit that jumped me. Don't you see now why they didn't want to call the law? They didn't want us arrested. They wanted to shoot us down. Now, my assistants are carrying the evidence that will convict Lee and his outfit. If they're headed for town, there's a bare chance we might catch them on the south road by heading through Dead Horse Gap. Have you got an extra gun on you? Right here. Well, give it to me. Come on. Get back in the wagon.
Lightning Carson's coming. Be ready to down him as he rides in. Anybody? No, not yet. Wait a minute. I hear horses' hoofs. Get ready. Don't give him a chance. Say, Lee, that horse has no rider. What? Hey, it's some kind of a trick. Not those guns. I'm sorry to break in on you boys like this, but... Uh... <laughs> Good going, Chief. You got them all. Well, Jerry, there are your prisoners. Time up. Thanks. What about Maggie? Oh, she's all right. But say, we had a swell time trying to convince Bolton and that posse just who he was. If it hadn't been for Jerry there, we'd have been that who's gal. We never could have done this without Jerry's help. He's going to make a fine lawman. Don't encourage him. He's hard enough to get along with now. Besides, Jessie's going to have to live with him all the rest of her life. Mr. Carson, why don't you stay here for a few days? Sort of a vacation, you know. I'm sure you deserve one. Sure, Lightman. Stick around a few days. I could use a few pointers on law enforcement. Well, as a matter of fact, I've already wired the department telling them the case is closed. But we're going to stay here several days longer. That's, That's what, what you, you think. think. Give him the bad news, Magpie. Listen to this, Chief. Agent Lewis murdered at Twin Peaks. Head for there at once. We'll wire full particulars. Signed, Robert. Now, what do you think of that? There you are. See how it happens in this business? Yeah, and when do I get my vacation? Oh, well, listen, honey. Now, this will just take a few days, and then you can... And then I get my vacation. Sure. Uh, well, when do we leave? Do you think you could be packed to catch that three o'clock train? Let's get out of here, Maggie. Margaret's the name. Atta girl, Maggie. <laughs> 